welcome to my channel, Inspired Birdie. Today, I'm really excited to bring you this video. As you'd guessed from the title of the video, this is a beginner's guide to bullet journaling. I am not by any means a professional when it comes to bullet journaling. If anything, I am 100% a beginner. And I wanted to share with you today some tips and some tricks and cheats that I use to get started with bullet journaling. All right, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. I do also have a Happy Planner, Plan With Me series that I run every Sunday. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You may have heard me talk about it in a haul or a planner video that I recently posted that I really wanted to start bullet journaling. I've been seeing a lot of people bullet journal and I've been very excited about it, but I've also been a little bit intimidated by it. So I'm gonna go through that with you. Just a quick note, if you hear any music or babbling in the background, that's just my daughter who's playing in the background. So just mind any noise that you might hear. So to get started, like I said, I was very intimidated by bullet journaling and you watching this video, you may, you may not be, but the most intimidating thing I found is I'm just not great at drawing. I'm not great at um, lettering. I love calligraphy. I used to do it when I was younger, but I'm just not that great at it anymore. So I really didn't know where to get started, but I was excited about the process and what bullet journaling is all about. So the creativity of making your own planner. If you follow me, you know that I'm obsessed with stationery. I am obsessed with planners. And this is just something else that I get obsessed about and that I'm super excited about. So I completely made my bullet journal by cheating. So I'm gonna start off by saying that. Uh, but I'm gonna explain to you how I did that and how it's actually helped me. So today, I'm not actually gonna go through the process of showing you a month layout. I'm gonna show you one that I've already done, but I'm not gonna be creating it today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to record my planning process and actually doing an entire month layout. So for example, March. I do have February already done, so I'm gonna show it to you. And I'll show you how I set up my own uh, bullet journal. I'm also gonna show you the supplies that I'm using and I'll tell you how I did my cover as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off by talking about supplies. You don't have to have the most fanciest of supplies. This bullet journal only cost me $5. Sorry, it's a little bit messed on the back, but this only cost me $5 and I got this from Walmart. It has all blank pages. So there's so many different bullet journals out there. You can get blank pages like this. You can get the ones that have the dots on them. Um, you can get gridded or lined. It's really your preference. I wanted a blank notebook and I only paid $5 for this. I also really like the fact that it has a pocket and I'll show you what I keep in the pocket a little bit later on. And I like that it has this little bookmark. So this was a black journal. And I did DIY the cover. I wanted to have something on my cover. So I DIY'd this by simply going on Google Images and I found this image. So the beginning is always today. It's very motivational. I love the color of it, the gold, the black, the white. And I simply copied the image. I put it into Word, so a program called Word if you're not familiar. And I simply uh, measured it in Word based on the measurements of my book. So this book I believe is an eight by five, uh, eight and a half by five and a half. And then I printed it out and I used dollar store laminate paper to stick it down. So it was super simple to do. That's the first thing. So only $5. I didn't have to spend $30. If this is something that I decide I really love and I want to invest in a more expensive one down the road, then that's totally something I'll do. But I wanted you to know you don't have to get anything too expensive. Second of all, I'm using these markers. Um, I believe these markers were about $12. I also got these from Walmart. So these are Stadler. I don't even think I'm saying that correctly, but I'll just show you so you can see. And these I got from Walmart. And what I like about them is it has a thick side and a thin, thin side. So here's the thick side, sorry. And then it has the super thin side and it came with tons of colors. So you see a few of the colors here, but I do in fact have all of these. It came with a ton. I think it's like 24. 
every color that you can think of, it came with. So that's the second part. Those are the markers that I use, but you can get really super cheap Crayola. That would work as well. Any markers you already have at home. Um, Dollar Store and Dollar uh, Tree have markers as well that you can use. Secondly, my next tool is a really good eraser. Um, I learned that very quickly. So I got these packages. These are white and I got these from the dollar store for a dollar, I think a dollar 25 or a dollar 50. And I got three of them. Absolutely use it because I do all of my bullet journaling in pencil and then I outline in black. So moving on to my next supply is a pencil. This isn't a special pencil. This is a super cheap pencil that I got from the dollar store. So I got a package of three for $1.50. And lastly, this is something that I did actually invest in, and I invested in some really good markers. So these are Faber-Castell. I can link them below for you guys. I got these off of Amazon, and these range for around $15 Canadian. But I did want to invest in a really good pen, and I love that it comes with four, and these are the different widths in how they write and like I mentioned earlier I love calligraphy so I did want a thicker pen so this is what they look like like this and they do have numbers on them and you can match the number on the container if you're not sure which is which and that's what I do and this is what I outline in after I've done my pages in pencil. And then after I'm done, I erase, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's the one thing I definitely invested in. And you don't have to. Here are some really nice ones that I got from Walmart. I think these were about $8. I really love these pens as well. And they're thin tipped. And you know what? The dollar store has good ones too. I've gotten these ones from the dollar store. I love using these. So lots of different options out there for you. Okay, so to get started, the first thing that I did, I did my cover first. That was actually the very, very first thing that I did. But the second thing that I did is I started researching on Pinterest different types of bullet journal pages to really figure out what I wanted to have inside my bullet journal. And then what I did is I put sticky notes on each of the pages for what I wanted them to represent before I started planning. So that's just a little tip, something that you may want to consider. So sticky note, uh, I want this to be the legend. I want this to be my table of content. I want this to be um, whatever. You'll see when I show you mine. So that was the very first thing that I did to start planning what I wanted my journal to look like. The second part was, how am I going to do this? I like I said earlier, I'm not the greatest at doodling. My lettering, I haven't practiced in years. So what I wanna do guys is I wanna show you my bullet journal right now and then I'm gonna tell you at the end some of the cheats that I, well not some, the definite cheats that I used for this bullet journal and how it helped me. So we're gonna start off by showing you my journal. So here is the first page when you open up. Be your own kind of beautiful was a quote that I found that I just really loved. So I wanted the first page of my journal to have a really nice quote. Over here is my legend. So for my legend, I did research other people's legends to see you know, what were some of the things, and these were the ones that I took away. So things like notes, events, tasks, items that are completed, in progress, priority, something I wanna move over to the next month or something I want to plan later. You can definitely add on to this things like school projects or college projects or work projects. Um, there's so many other things that you can add into here as well. Here's my second page, which is my table of contents. Um, I did two pages. I know some people only do one, but I did do two pages. I wanted to give myself a lot of room to write and I started uh, doing this. One little tip, and I, I've heard this from other people who do bullet journal professionally, and when I say professionally, I mean they post them every month, they have tons of views, they, this is something that they do a lot, is make sure that you number your pages as you go along, because if you don't, you can be playing catch up when you're halfway through. So that's my table of contents. I kind of kept this vine going throughout the first part of my bullet journal because I just, I really liked it. It was simple, easy to do. Um, 
pretty. Vines also represent growth, so I, I like that. And then I wanted to have a quick view 2018 calendar. So this is what I ended up going with. There are many formats that you can do this. Again, just Pinterest it to see what works for you. I just wanted a quick glance like you would normally see in any planner. And then here's my, these are what I ended up doing is I ended up adding at the very beginning before I get into the months, things that I want to track um, at the very beginning of the journal for the entire year. So for example, I did a project and mood tracker. All of these pages you're gonna see are things that I didn't wanna do monthly, but they're things that I wanted to just always be doing and have quick access to them. So I put them at the very front of my bullet journal. So projects is one of them. So this is it, I'm not even done as you can see. I wanna color in this vine here and start outlining my projects, but these are projects that I'm working on throughout the entire year. I also wanted to do a mood tracker for the entire year, so I have to go in and fill in today. Today is February 2nd that I'm recording this video, so I put in the different colors just to keep track of what kind of mood I'm in. So yesterday I had put in gray, which is I just feel kind of normal. Um, so today I wanna go in and fill my mood out as well, and maybe add a little bit of art decor here. Here is another one that I wanted at the very beginning of my journal. So one is goals, which I haven't even completed yet. I'm not even sure what this is going to look like yet, um, but I did do the hashtag goals and make it happen, which I really liked. And then I'm going to figure out what I want this page to look like. I also wanted a weight loss page so um, I can keep track each month of the weight that I've lost. So I want to lose 70 pounds, which is why I put 70 and then count down every five. I'll go in and I'll color it based on my legend. I will color completed. And then I just put a really fun cupcake. It says calories, don't count on the weekend. I did find that on Google Images. That is not my image. And then I also included a reading list. I did. I know a lot of people put this in their monthly, so each month, but I didn't wanna do that because I don't plan on reading this many books in one month. This is what I plan on doing for the entire year. So as books come up, I will add them. But I went ahead and I just started writing some of the books I already have lined up that I wanna read. So I'm currently reading the baby book, Brain Rules, and I did color in uh, a part of it because I am a quarter into the book. And yeah, I just put a fun little quote at the end that says, you can find magic wherever you look, sit back and relax, all you need is a book. And that's by Dr. Seuss. And then over here I do have a baby to buy list. So these are just items um, that I'm keeping an eye on that I wanna purchase. I haven't even filled it out yet, I just have it set up. And then we move directly into February. So I wanted to obviously go with the theme, as you can see, of love. It is Valentine's month. So that's what I went with. So black and red is my color theme. And as you can see, I put a quote here, made with love. This is my February page. And this is not my design, guys. I'm gonna show you my cheats um, in a moment. So here is my month that I did, I wanted to have a really quick month layout like this. Cute little February, a little doodle there. And then here's what I added in. So I wanted to have a habit tracker and that's for exercise. So keep track of how often I exercise. So for example, yesterday I didn't, naughty on me, but keep track of exercise. And then here's my water log. I am gonna add in calligraphy water. Um, and keep track of the water that I'm drinking. I haven't even started today's yet. Yesterday, I only drank half the amount that I want, so something to really keep me accountable. Then I have a milestones page, and this is for my daughter, so she will be six months, and this is where I wanna write in some memories of different milestones that she reached. And again, I am not good with penship, lettering, that kind of stuff, so I will show you how I did this. I wanted to keep track of a me time, so making sure that I'm really making time for me, getting out, whatever that might be, and I can make a list of different things that I wanna do. So what is it I wanna do, when, and have I done it? And then I have a little section down here for ideas for the next month that I can write down. I also wanted to have a memories page, so I thought this was really fun. Um, I can go in and just put the date on the bottom and what is the memory that I want to keep for that month. 
And then I wanted a layout for day by day. I didn't start this till um, Monday. I really didn't want to waste an entire page just for like two or three days. So I am starting this on Monday. I don't need a lot of space because if you follow me, I do actually have another planner that I use on a daily basis. I'm really into the de uh, day designer right now. I love it. Um, so that's kind of where I dump all of the stuff that I have to do. This is more what I'm gonna be using to hold myself accountable for different things. So yeah, I put together a little section for each of the days throughout February. It says, hello, February. And then over here, kind of did some romantic Valentine's Day stuff. And then that's it. So that's where I'm at. So the next page will be dedicated to March. So I did keep it really simple. Like I said, I'm not an artistic person and I wanted to show you that you don't have to be a painter or an artist to do these kind of things. You can really make it whatever you want it to be. I had so much fun making these and I'm gonna share now what my cheats are. So you may have already guessed watching this video, but some of my cheats, so for example, the first off the lettering I couldn't have done it without this that's the first thing if you're into callig uh, calligraphy make sure you have a good calligraphy pen because without this one here I couldn't have done penmanship like that but my cheats are one pencil everything done in pencil first once it's done in pencil I then go over it with my pen of choice and then once I give it a moment to dry because I don't want smudges I erase the the pen if I can see the pencil then I'll erase it but my cheat was tracing as simple as that tracing I traced it um, and it's not always easy to do when you have thicker paper so some things were easy to do and the ones that weren't I'll tell you what I did but I want to show you so this is what I did I started researching on Google different things that I liked. So like I said, I went with a Valentine's Day theme and I just found different free clip arts that I really liked off of Google Images and Pinterest. I'm just showing you all the different ones. Some of them you do have to pay for. And that's all I did guys and I traced them. So let me show you this for example. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to catch it, but I'm going to try to show you. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but I don't know if you can see that. And by tracing it, what I found, guys, is by the end, so as I went on and on and on, I actually found by the end, I was just naturally able to do it because I had done it so much, I was uh, teaching myself through the um, tracing technique that at some points I didn't even need to trace anymore. Same with the doodles, guys. These doodles are all traced, um, just pictures that I found that I really, really liked. Now, some thicker papers aren't easy to trace through. So what I did is I actually, funny enough, took my cell phone, I put my cell phone on the absolute brightest setting and I put my cell phone underneath the paper, which shone the light through and allowed me to easily, very easily see the, pic the picture I wanted to trace and to trace through it. So that's the cheat that I went through. And let me tell you, yes, it's a total cheat, but it really made me love what I'm doing because I didn't have to stress out about, oh, I'm not good at drawing, this is going to suck, or I'm not good at penmanship. And me, I'm a very type A personality. I am a perfectionist. So if I can't do it in a way that I think looks really nice, I'm not going to do it. And this is by all means isn't perfect, but it looks good and I'm happy with it. So that's what I did. I also have some here that I kept in the pocket that I can use month over month. So some um, label board like borders different words that I want to use some doodles some art I want to at some point do a spring theme I'm not sure if that's gonna be March or April the me time unplug some borders again these are all things I just found off of Google images and Pinterest days of the week. You just saw me use this. 
These are all my sticky notes from when I was planning out my pages. Some more borders that I really like. And I'm not inventing the wheel. I know there's probably other bullet journalers out there that have probably already shared this or have done it this way. I just wanted to share this tip and trick and yeah, I love journaling now. Um, it's really got me back into enjoying it and I might end up do start doing a series kind of like my plan with me, but this would be um, a monthly one. So like once a month. And if that's something that you're interested in seeing, let me know. Again, I am a beginner. If you want to start with me and join me on a monthly basis to plan out our bullet journals, just don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like to let me know that's something that you're interested in. And also, if you're into the Happy Planner, check out my Happy Planner series. I do have a lot of really fun Happy Planner plan with me. Lots of different themes to choose from. So that is it, guys. It's as simple as that. It took me about two days to do this. Not two full days, obviously. That's just, you know, time in between here and there of planning, of the drawing. And I found it very therapeutic. So I really enjoyed the entire process and highly recommend it to anybody who wants to try something new, is, you know, really into that creative part of the planner. Um, yeah, something to try out. All right, guys. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Love and peace to all of you. And that's it, guys. All right. Bye.